Hello everyone! We are making some sauteed cabbage and sausage today. Super simple. Um, I like this sausage because it gives me a lot of bang for my calorie buck. And then my father-in-law is so awesome. He brings me these vegetables that his brother grows in his garden. And they um, freeze dried or air sealed them. And they've been in my freezer, so they're thaw. I'm just gonna chop them up, chop up the sausage, put it into a cast iron skillet with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and some other of my favorite seasonings. And voila, you have a whole awesome, delicious, easy breezy dinner. Okay, friends, I have my cabbage all sliced up. If you don't have cabbage in your freezer like this, um, just a good head of cabbage. And um, this is probably a good two. Um, but I'm gonna use it up because we have family coming over and I am going to feed them. So into this cast iron skillet over here with a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna get this one sauteing up while I chop up the sausage. Okay, so into the hot cast iron skillet, very hot it goes. And I'm just gonna sprinkle in some salt and pepper at this point and then I'll add some other goodies to it. And then I'm gonna turn down the heat and let this get it to, oh look, it's already getting brown under there. Yeah, baby. To break it on down while I chop up the sausage. Okay, I've got this saute down pretty well. So now I'm going to add in my sausage and give a little sprinkle of slap ya mama and seasoning salt, salt and pepper, and some sea salt. If you don't have those things, use what you have. It's not gonna ruin it. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, baby, this is looking good keep it kind of moving around, but not too much. I like it to get a little charry. I don't want it to burn, but I like it to be a little caramelized. So what I'm gonna do is kind of space it out. And then I'm gonna take the biggest lid I can find and just set it on top to get that sausage really cooked too. Hello, beautiful. Look at this, you guys, it's perfect. You can keep sauteing it down if you want to get it a little bit more brown. It's up to you. Um, but really, it's just so good. And all you have to do is a little salt and pepper. Any seasonings that you have in your cab cabinet that are your faves, just use that. And then voila, you have either a main dish or this is a great side dish too. You can put it over rice or just leave it just like this. I hope you guys try it and love it as much as we do. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.